I am Melinda Logan. When I started Bookmore TV, I was based in New York City. As of today, I'm based in Philadelphia. Before Bookmore TV, I was struggling with confidence, really. It was really just about my preparation, um, my overall script analysis. I had a lot of training, but I wasn't confident in what I was doing. So I felt like I was always relying on a coach to just confirm either what I knew or what I had questions about. Um, whether it be stage directions, whether it be a certain transition that I wasn't comfortable with, it didn't quite hit. So before Bookmore TV, that's really what uh, I was dealing with, a lot of insecurities um, on that level. Um, and then, you know, what I received really just helped me be more secure as a person and as an actor. There were just so many tools to, to kind of help me uh, build that confidence and preparation and, and help me feel comfortable in owning my own process. My personal win, branding. I was on the struggle bus with branding. That was a huge issue for me. I felt like um, I'd been given so many different uh, roles uh, to audition for, uh, different age ranges. I would, you know, I had tried so many different ways to kind of narrow in on my branding and um, none of it really gelled with me because it always was like, all right, this is how I was at that time. And they're basing it on how I, you know, came through at that time. And with your process, I don't know if I should give it away what your process is for branding. Okay. But basically it's, it's data. It's a hundred percent data. I can't argue with it. I showed up knowing that this was going to be part of a branding exercise. I showed up knowing that and what came back was still something different and unexpected, but I couldn't argue with it. And it was, a lot of it was stuff that I um, thought about myself anyway, but there were some new things too that was very, um, uh, very unique. And I just appreciated it. I settled with it and I accepted it. And I didn't try to fight the auditions that came after with that, you know, uh, that ask, that type of brand uh, for me. So I would just say that being clear and, and comfortable in branding and also knowing there's a space for me. Um, that was another, uh, uh, I don't know if it was a personal win. Yeah, I'll say that. It was definitely a personal win for me. Because being able to kind of see other actors who were uh, looked similar to me, who could even be uh, similar in branding and type, looking at the difference and, and then seeing sort of where I could fit in and knowing that there was something special and unique, knowing how I show up is special and unique and being okay and comfortable with that and not trying to become something, someone else. That was, that was so huge. It was a huge, huge revelation. And you know, sometimes you might hear it said here and there, but you don't quite grasp it or even maybe even believe it. But it's a way of um, doing the work and getting the data and literally, you're literally seeing it for yourself. You literally cannot, you can't argue with it. It's in your face. So, um, that was really like my my aha moment and my favorite moments. Christine is definitely inspiring with her coaching style. I think what I connect with is that she leads with her heart and her soul. I think of her as like this butterfly, if you will. And I don't know if anyone out there can relate to me, but uh, or relate to that. But she she lays the groundwork and she's very clear. Um, she understands that people learn differently and she has different ways to teach based on that. So I think um, that really resonated with me because that's hard to find a coach and to find someone that you can work with and who can who you can understand and learn from um, if they don't really teach the style that you need to learn in and because she has so many different styles and or recognizes that people have different ways of learning she provides all of that I think that's very unique I would just say whatever you're looking for you, I feel like you're gonna get with this course if you need attention 
from a coach, you're going to get that. If you need tools and technique from a coach, you're going to get that. Um, if you're still on the fence, I would just weigh, weigh what matters to you right now. You know, is this something that you can afford time, energy, financially? If the answer is yes, then that's your answer. Christine is someone who is in the trenches just like us. She's um, worked, she has um, so many credits and she's currently working. So any new information that comes out, any new changes, any new updates to the industry, you're going to know, you're going to get that information. If there's like, you, you ha I have the training, I'm sure if you have the training, there's still something that that we obviously recognize we need, which is why we're, we're, we're we research and we're, we're trying to find a course. And I would say, you know, if it's confidence, if it's um, just audition technique, if it's networking, if it's um, you know uh, trying to build sort of your yourself as a CEO, you're gonna get all of that from this course. It really is whatever you need to get out of it you're going to if you invest into it.